the lower portion of the tail cone is in the rocks at the seawall. And there was a significant piece of the tail of this aircraft that was in, in the water. Our investigators have also documented additional aircraft parts that are visible when low tide occurred. About three seconds prior to impact, the flight data recorder recorded its lowest speed of 103 knots. At this time, the engines were at about 50% power and engine power was increasing. At impact, airspeed was approximately 106 knots. What I'm sharing with you is some information to help you get some context. We talked yesterday how this aircraft was significantly slower than their VREF or target approach speed of 137 knots. 137 knots is the speed that they want to have when they cross the threshold of the runway. This same group also works on emergency response issues and they're examining video and data associated with the emergency response activities and the emergency vehicle activities. I've received many questions about the emergency response activities and the two fatalities. There have been a lot of questions about one of the fatalities with respect to a uh, emergency response vehicle. We are still looking at this issue. It is a very serious issue and we want to understand it. 